नमस्ते एवरीवन आई एम योर कोहोस्ट शाउनी मैम वेलकम टू योर फेवरेट लर्निंग चैनल द टॉपिक फॉर टुडेस वीडियो इज इकोसिस्टम एंड इट्स कंपोनेंट एंड द डिफरेंस बिटवीन लिविंग एंड नॉन लिविंग कंपोनेंट सो डू यू नो व्हाट इज एन इकोसिस्टम सो टुडे वी विल टॉक अबाउट आवर इकोसिस्टम यू मस्ट हैव हर्ड द टर्म इकोसिस्टम नंबर ऑफ टाइम्स सो हाउ विल यू डिफाइन दिस इकोसिस्टम सो this ecosystem is actually our natural environment okay so ecosystem is a natural environment and it comprises of comprising the plants the animals then the microscopic organisms microscopic organisms and others okay so this ecosystem it involves it involves what it involves both the living organisms as well as the non living things okay the non living things of a particular area which is of a particular area okay so our ecosystem can be as small as under trees or as large as the oceans okay so tree ecosystem is very small whereas ocean ecosystem we know oceans are so large so it can be as small as trees or as large as the oceans okay so our ecosystem is actually the natural environment that comprises of both the non living things as well as the living things of a particular area so the term ecosystem this term that is ecosystem do you know who had used this term for the first time so the term ecosystem was first used by it was first used by arthur arthur tansley so arthur Tansley was the person who had first used this term ecosystem so all the living and non living things of an ecosystem they interact with each other and also among themselves okay so each component or all the different components of the ecosystem they interact with each other and also amongst themselves okay so what is the study of this ecosystem called the study of ecosystem do you know what is it called it is known as ecology so ecology is the study of the ecosystem so the term ecology was coined by this term ecology was coined by whom it was coined by the scientist ernst haeckel okay so ernst haeckel was the first scientist who coined the term ecology which is the study of the ecosystem and he had coined it in the year 1866 so the word ecology is actually derived from a combination of two greek words so ecology is derived from it is derived from two greek words it is derived from two greek words so what are they one is one is oikos okay so oikos what does it mean it means house okay 
and the other term is logos logos means study okay so ecology is derived from these two greek words that is oikos which means house and logos means study okay so this is about ecosystem and ecology now let's see what are the two different components of an ecosystem so let's study about the components the components of eco system so ecosystem has two components what are they we can say that one is called the biotic component biotic component and what is the other component it is abiotic abiotic component okay so now let's see what is this biotic component so biotic components or biotic factors are actually the living component it is also known as the living component it involves the living organisms in it and hence it is also known as the living component okay so they are capable of as they are living they are capable of what they are capable of reproduction okay so this is the living component it include all the living organisms in an ecosystem okay here it includes what does it include it includes the living organisms living organisms of an eco system okay so all the living organisms of an ecosystem are involved or or are included under the biotic component okay so uh, let's take a few examples so examples can include microorganisms plants then plants animals etc okay so this is about the biotic component now let's see what is abiotic component abiotic component is the non living component of the ecosystem okay so here all the non living things that is the non living physical or chemical substances are included it includes it includes the non living physical and chemical non living physical and chemical substances of an ecosystem so these non living physical and chemical substances of an ecosystem come under the non living component that is the abiotic component of an ecosystem okay so they usually include this abiotic component includes soil it includes water then minerals minerals air etc so these are the different components of abiotic or the non living component of an ecosystem so here sunlight gases can also be included so these are the two different components of ecosystem one is the living component that is the biotic component and the other is the abiotic component or the non living component okay so now that we have learned about the living component and the non living component of ecosystem let's see what are the differences between them 
so the first parameter let's consider the name of the component so the living component is also known as what it is also known as the biotic component and the non living component is also known as the abiotic component okay so next parameter let's see what is the role okay so the living component or the biotic component it directly either directly or indirectly it affects it affects what it affects other organisms okay it affects other organisms by how does it affect by various interactions by various interactions and what are those interactions they can be predation or competition okay so it can be predation or competition or symbiosis etc okay now in non living component or the abiotic component it affects the ability what does it do it affects the ability of okay or we can say that it affects the ability of living organisms living organisms to survive okay so it affects the living organisms ability to survive so their availability how does it do that because their availability decides the number and type of organisms that can survive or that can be present in a given environment and thus it affects the ability of living organisms to survive okay so next let's move on and talk about a few examples okay so the biotic component would include plants animals microbes etc okay and the abiotic component can include soil water sunlight air etc okay now the next parameter that we would consider is classification okay so the living component or the biotic component can be classified as producers okay then consumers then decomposers okay and the abiotic or the non living component can be classified as climatic and under the climatic classification climatic it will include rain light wind etc and then the next would be edaphic and under edaphic it would include soil minerals 
landscape etc okay so these are the differences between the living and the non living component now let's quickly revise everything that we have covered today okay so today we have covered about the ecosystem and its components and the differences between the two components of ecosystem so what is ecosystem ecosystem is actually a natural environment that comprises of plants animals microscopic organisms and others so our ecosystem includes or involves the living as well as the non living things that are present in a particular area and the term ecosystem was first used by arthur tansley okay and what is the study of ecosystem called the study of ecosystem is known as ecology and this term ecology was first coined by the scientist ernst haeckel in 1866 now this ecology is derived from two greek words one is oikos which means house and the other word is logos which means study okay then we studied about the components of ecosystem so there are two components of ecosystem one is the biotic component and the other is the abiotic component so biotic component is actually the living component of the ecosystem here the living organisms are included hence they are capable of reproduction so this component includes living organisms as i told just now so for example we can consider microorganisms plants animals etc these are all living organisms and hence they are included under the living component or the biotic component of the ecosystem then under abiotic component the non living things are included so it is the non living component of ecosystem so it includes the non living physical and chemical substances of an ecosystem for example soil water minerals air etc okay then we studied the difference between the living component and the non living component of ecosystem the first parameter that we considered was the name of the component so the living component is also known as the biotic component and the non living component is also known as the abiotic component then we studied its role so the living component what it does it directly or indirectly affects other organisms by various interactions like by predation competition symbiosis etc and what does the non living component do so it actually affects the ability of living organisms to survive and how does it do so because the availability of the non living component is actually the deciding factor and this decides the number and type of organisms that can be present or that can survive in a given environment okay so next parameter was examples so the examples of living component would include plants animals microbes etc and the non living component would include soil water sunlight air etc then we saw the classification of the two different components so the biotic or the living component can be classified as producers consumers and decomposers whereas the non living or the abiotic component can be classified as climatic under which it includes rain light wind etc and the other classification is edaphic which includes soil minerals landscapes etc okay so i hope you all would have got some great insights by watching today's video please do not forget to like and share the video till then thank you for watching